let's move to this practical session of what we have discussed so far in previous video so as i told right we need to use one sentence transformer right so what you need to do you need to do in your python file pip install hyphen u sentence transformers okay this is the prerequisite which you have to do okay what you can do if you don't have any uh, python or anaconda or jupyter is installed in the machine you can just go and uh, do the similar thing in a colab.research.google.com also it's a uh, it's already this uh, jupyter uh, kind of notebook is available you can just create a new notebook and you can just start coding so see what you, as, as a first step what you have to do you have to install the sentence as well now since i have already installed right it is saying that its requirement already satisfied so i it, it will not take much time otherwise it may take some time to install this sentence as well but it will not take very much more time but it will take little time so so you have to bear with that okay so you have to install this and then what you have to do as i told right in previous call you i am going to use all mini language model l6 version 2 okay so this as i told right from hugging face side it is it, it it will be there right so what you can do right in hugging face you can just you can you can go and just search for this right you can you can get the details of this or any of the model which you want to use right uh, you can just search all mini right you can see all mini l6 version 2 right you can just go and search and you will get the details of it so it was suiting my requirement for my sentence transformer so that's why i am using it so what you have to do you have to just load that model i the model is loaded now and let me execute this cell now this cell is also executed it means it is loaded now what i am doing there is a sentence right so i i just want to create the embeddings for this sentence so you see there is a array of two right uh, so two sentences are there so this way you can just in model what we have loaded this encode method so you have to call this encode method and pass that sentence array and you will get the embeddings of all the sentences and now for just sake of this demo i am just printing here also you see right uh, sentence for loop i am just using embedding in a zip and sentence and embeddings whatever embeddings are arrays is created right so now i am just printing it now let's see what is generate so you see here right it's a numerical format right uh, as i told right embeddings is is, is like a numerical uh, representation of this right just just assume that this object one is uh, is 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 your uh, sentence one and object two sentence two and embedding model right it creates a numerical representations of that so same thing is happening here what we discussed in this previous video so now i'll just remove this output clear this output now see what i am doing now cosine similarity which we discuss in detail in previous right so you you see we have to find out the similarity between uh, between two sentences right so there are example right i am just giving i am eating apple i like fruit right so these two sentences right it's look like similar now we need to find out using this cosine similarity so as i have uh, as i imported here util also right you can see right so this util has this cosine similarity function in built it's a utility function which is already providing this functionality so embedding one and embedding two right so it internally does the same thing but uh, what formula which we discussed right in previous videos so it is doing same thing and it is calculating here so i'll i see you see yeah, i'm getting this cosine similarity now 0.9669 so it's a very good right so uh, one means exactly similar so 0.9 is nearly similar okay so this way we are checking the similarity between the two sentences now you see here uh, now if we have a we have a u set of uh, sentences right and we want to find out uh, similarity between all the pairs right like first one how much similar is with second one third one and second one is how much similar with the third one fourth one and first one right so uh, for all those pairs we want to get it so again same thing this encode method again it's uh, we are passing this uh, sentences and now embeddings and but here what we have to do we have to do again cosine similarity but we have to find out embeddings right because it is we are finding uh, between all the pairs so we have to pass again this same embeddings object and now i'm printing so you can see i'm printing here so we are getting right so you see uh, this is a uh, when it is checked against same right so it is getting one it is exactly similar right when this one is checked against same sentence it is getting similarity also you see all diagonals are once are checked against the 
same so it is one so now when first one is checked against the second one right zero one so you see it's point nine right so th so this way uh, it is like checking uh, against each each other right pair now i want to just print this in a proper right whatever what is cosine similarity in a pair right for which pair so what i have to do i have written some logic here you see all sentence combination right uh, i am just defining here this variable array now i have to do a for loop and two for loop since it's a multi dimensional right so i am doing for loop and in the range and the length of this cosine similarity to minus 1 for till that i am doing now i am again one more loop and where range is from the my this one this whatever right it starts right i plus 1 and the, this is the length of my cosine similarity it is now all sentences combination i we are i am bending this cosine similarity to and then i am just uh, what is the pair number right i and j right so when i run this right so it will it will just uh, give me the see uh, cosine similarity right and then it's it's that has been the the pair also right zero for zero one it is this much for this pair zero two right it's a array right uh, so it's a zero one zero two right same as zero two zero three it is this one now what what i need now uh, let me just clear this output what i need now i just want to just print out this top five most similar pairs right so what i have to do same thing i i use a sorting right i need to sort this right whatever response i am getting for each pair right so i will sort this and first number based on the first number only right first one was what lambda and x of the x because this that was containing three values right cosine similarity and then my pair right i comma j so i am doing by this because these all are the tuples basically whatever we got right in this one it is called tuples so in that tuples right uh, i need to just for the 0th index i need to do right so this is by in 0th index so key equal to lambda x colon uh, x x of the 0th index which is of the cosine similarity which we are getting and reverse equal to true so now it will print me the all the details in this format what was the sentence what was this sentence which some similar right sentence i sentence j and what is it is a cosine similarity number also it will so you see it's already printing here i have already ran right now a man is eating food a man is eating piece of bread see it's a very similar right man is it so that's why it's, it's number is five four four seven five five three seven three nine six it is uh, it is a less similar than these two right so i'm just printing the top five most similar pairs i hope you understood this so this way we are getting now very now most important part which is coming now is semantic search let's try to understand this is here till now it was very basic thing which we understood about this sentence combination right and cosine similarities right now you see semantic search so semantic search how we are doing here we are again importing sentence transformer util but just remember here i am using mfac mfac model okay if you go here you can just search for this frequently asked question so i want like question answer kind of right frequently asked question answer kind of model so i am uh, using this model you see here details of this question answer 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 right this way you can just uh, use this model right so i am importing this model so sentence transformer this will load the model now this is a question i am giving how many models can i host on hugging face this is my question and these are the set of the documents basically which are which where my answer resides actually whether it may be in answer 2 document or answer 3 document right it i i don't know right so so basically in real world right these these are very huge set of documents okay answer one answer two answer and right we, we don't know like whenever you are searching in a google right you are just giving a question right and it is it is it is giving you the answer but behind the scene it is it is searching in a tons of documents right so how it is fast so so there what it is doing it is narrowing down your search by using some semantic search technique so it is narrowing down your search so that here also what we are going whenever we are asking any question it should first tell me in which document it my answer is falling so it will only search my answer in that document okay so that narrowing down thing can be achieved through semantic search which we are going to do it now now what uh, i hope you understood my point now let's see uh, same thing we will be going to do model dot encode question okay question and now query uh, once we get this uh, embedding right and and code and code will re return the numerical format which is called embeddings right now this is my corpus you can see this is a corpus of huge data right it can be n numbers of right so what we are doing we have to encode all the 
these corpus are generally pre-encoded but here for sake of demo we are just encoding because we have to search in this so we are encoding these corpus data also and storing it in the corpus embeddings uh, variable now what we have to do we have to util right util we have important in util we have to use the semantic search it's a predefined method with utility method is given and it's we have to provide whatever my query whatever my question right question uh, query embedding and what is where to search by corpus embeddings i'm passing right now you see when i ran this i get this answer score for my first first uh, answer 0.55 score to 0 0.49 0 0.45 so point this wins 0.55 right it is more so my answer will reside in this right now but i still i don't know the answer my answer is in document but what is the answer still i don't know so now for that i need to use here now question answering right pipeline so so that i have to import that pipeline now right from trans, uh, now transformer i need to import that pipeline so for this pipeline now i'm loading question answering and this is my qa model uh, variable i have stored now same now i know that it is false in question one right so i will just provide the question and context so i will just provide the questions and context so you can see here i am just providing this question and uh, the same context right which i got it right that it is in answer one all plants comes with the unlimited private model and data sets now question one and this context i am providing here this to this qa model whatever to my pipeline right now when i run this you see score 0.7 starts and answer is unlimited so how many models can i host on the hugging quiz unlimited because see it has found out the context from this answer one unlimited so this is really interesting right we got the answers using the semantic search so this way we can scale it to the very high level this we can just <coughs> create this this corpus of data from the huge pdf suppose you have a documentation pdf right you want to search something right right for your organization right you have some product and your product documents right what you can do you can just break those document into a chunk right and then you can uh, do the embeddings and all right and then you can uh, search like this way right how to install my product it will answer you right how how you uh, how many how many servers you need right to install this your product right so you can get those things right so so those kinds of questions and answers things you can achieve for your document using this technique so i hope this video is helpful to you and if you have liked this video please provide your comments and do share my videos and provide just like button and and just just uh, this will help me in growing and i can provide you more and more very useful and learning videos for new and trending technologies which will help you to grow in your organization wherever you are working thank you everyone thanks thanks for seeing this video thank you